You know what you do when you can't solve a puzzle? You take it apart so you can show people how to assemble it correctly. Oh yeah. Come on. I know you can get out of there. Please. There you go. That's why you get a magnetic screwdriver. Hey guys, it's NK Cubed, and today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the Mirror Square One. When printing the Mirror Square One, it's important to make sure you print all the edge pieces once, because each of them are unique. If you have a misprint, make sure to reprint only the pieces which went bad. Or, I mean, you can throw away everything else, but I, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Anyhow, so... When assembling this puzzle, the first thing you're going to want to do is separate the thin pieces and the thick pieces. You see these two pieces? Okay, once you divided the pieces up into the thick pieces and the thin pieces, you're going to want to get the core, and you're going to want to slide one of the pieces in... find a place where it fits. If it doesn't fit in one of the core pieces, get another core piece. This piece goes here because it's flat here and flat here. After you found, you got that piece, uh, slide the other pieces of the same thickness in for that side. So this one's a little bit too thick. There's a little bit of a bump here. Now that you got one half, turn it over and try to find the mirror of the pieces. So, for this one, I'm going to use this piece. Once you got one half done, put that one aside, get the next half. Once you got the two pieces, get the piece which has a cap. Um, I, I put it in because it's easier to tell if the pieces are square with the cap in. You're going to want to place the two center pieces on top of each other. Once you've done that, you're going to need an M3 screw. I put about uh, that much spring on it because the cavity was too small on the puzzle. Put the screw in the hole, and hold the puzzle so it's as square as you can get it. After that, twist the screw in. Pretty simple stuff, guys. Just put the screw in the thing and turn it. After you put the cap on, you're done. When you first put the cap in, it may not fit in this nicely, but after a couple of tries, it come, it goes in and comes out pretty easily. I pulled this puzzle because I was looking at square ones on uh, Twisty Puzzles Museum once, and I noticed that what they had for mirror square one wasn't actually a mirror square one. It was, uh, uh, I'll, there's a picture of it here. It was sort of like a uh, mirror square one except the guy only chopped off the top of the square one and made like glued that onto the bottom to make it a little bit thicker. So I thought, it's not that hard to make. Um, the mechanism is pretty simple and everything, and so I used my, uh, my CAD tool, and I designed the files and everything, and then I waited and waited and waited until my 3D printer actually came. And then once that came, I was finally able to print the puzzle and put it together. I designed bump puzzles personally by making the slices and then after that I translate the cube which the slices were based on in the X, Y, and Z directions to sort of emulate the stickers that would be on the cube. The first design I had for this, uh, I made these pieces go all the way to the center and that really makes it catch uh, because the little triangle pieces 
can sort of like get caught on each other. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it, it can get caught on each other like that, and then when you try to turn it, it can catch. Um, and that makes the puzzle like uh, kind of not fun to solve. But, uh, and I also made the hole here, like the little well where the, the screw is, I made that way too shallow. Um, and so when I tightened it, I couldn't tighten it all the way. I needed a longer screw, or like I said, like a shallower well. And so in the most recent model, I fixed both of those problems. And it should work a little bit better than this one. Oh man, that's terrible. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy this puzzle as much as I did. And cut. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the video for the other puzzle, or both the puzzles together. Thanks for watching! Uh...